The 17th century, the age of navigation. The Portuguese and the Dutch came to East Asia, one after the other, to expand their trade. After the Dutch failed in an attack on Macau in 1622, they set up an outpost in the Penghu Islands. The Ming Dynasty court reacted strongly and persuaded the Dutch to move their outpost to Taiwan. The first contact with the Shilaya came when the Dutch were carrying out hydrological studies in the area of Anping in today's Tainan. Later on, the Dutch built Fort Zeelandia in Tainan, opening the curtain on Dutch colonial rule. The pioneer Dutch missionary in Taiwan, Reverend George Candidius, recorded the Chilaya of the time. In this island of Formosa, to which it hath pleased our Lord God to send me to preach the gospel of Christ, I well know Shingam, Mado, Shaolong, Mujaleo, Da Huagang, Difulugang, Da Opan, and Da Wulong. The people of these places have the same manners, customs, religion, and language. Their location stretches from the shore to the mountains, all within one day's journey from the headquarters at Fort Zeelandia. The people of Formosa are very friendly, faithful, and good-natured. They are also very hospitable to foreigners, offering them food and drink in their kindest manner. They are not treacherous, but would rather die or suffer discomfort themselves than bring suffering on others by treachery. They have an excellent memory and can easily comprehend and remember anything. They mainly cultivate their fields and sow rice. The women do most of the farming work, and since neither horses, cows, nor plows are used, all the work has to be slowly done by means of pickaxes. Gagalang, the fire burns strongly today. The harvest will be good. May the gods protect us. Dalai, go on home. Ma, people from Xingang haven't been coming here to Mado much recently. Yes, they seem to be arguing with the Dutch. Takaran told me the Dutch are after Dika. Have they caught him? They've gone into hiding. I wonder if he'll have a war. Ah, uh, uh, here's Takaran. Uh, Takaran! Dalai! Hey, Sayun! <laughs> Do you know what's happening at Xingang? They pay the Dutch in pigs and rice, and some who believe the Dutch preachers don't go to him much anymore. The Xingang people just want Dutch protection. They don't really believe in the Dutch god. Our sorceress is better. <laughs> 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 oh, deities, please ask the goddess of the east to send thunder and the god of the south to send rain to protect us from treachery. harvest this year will be good. But the gods warn us to be wary of the Dutch. They won't let us believe in our own gods. And our gods are unhappy. Our gods tell us not to be like the people of Xingang, or we will have disaster and a poor harvest as well. Hey, Dalai. What? 
Remember to run fast. Sai Yun doesn't like slow men. Yulai, the wife of Daddy Guan outside the village, is sick and wants fish. Go get some fish and choose the best for them. Mm. Hey. 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 hey, Dakaran, I can't outrun you, but you can't beat me in the water. <laughs> Stop playing in the water and get on home with those fish! Look at this big fish! If you want, I could... You hairless boy, <laughs> give your fish to my little sister. Look! I only caught these little fish! Put them back! Let them grow into big fish! I'm waiting for you to play the juice harp for me. Uncle Daddy Gwen! Uncle Daddy Gwen, we brought you some fresh fish! Sorry to bother you. My wife has nightmares and wakes up wanting to eat fish. It's just what we young folks should do. You're smart young folks. Looks like we'll have a good harvest. When the rice is ripe is when my wife and I Sacrifice for you, young folks. The Dutch are having disputes with all the nearby villages. They even sent soldiers to capture someone in Shingon. Don't worry, Uncle Dali Guan. The Shingon people are too busy with the Dutch to bother you. It's time to go hunting again. Has anyone had a nightmare lately? Then tell everybody to be ready to go hunting in the morning. When you're hunting, listen to me. Take care of your companions. And don't catch pregnant does or baby deer. Let them go, so we'll have deer to hunt in the future. Spear, help me catch some deer tomorrow. <laughs> Today was great. We got six deer. You are brave hunters. You must teach me how to skin the deer. Cheers. <laughs>
Get up! Let's go check our traps. Maybe some of the deer ran into them yesterday. <laughs> Run faster! <laughs> huh, we'll see who wins. The winner gets a deer skin! <laughs> Be careful, or you won't have any deer skins to trade with the Dutch. <laughs> Nobody knows these trails like I do. That deer skin is mine for sure. That doesn't sound like Chinese. What's your hurry? A wild boar chasing you? I saw a group of Dutch soldiers. I must tell the elders. Sing him on up! On guard! Sing him on, up. on guard! The Dutch are coming! Oh. How many are there? Uh, 50 or 60. Do they have weapons? Yes, they all have firearms. And a Chinese is guiding them. Oh. Tuck oh. back. Oh, hey, tuck back. back. Huh? What happened? Well, I saw a group of Dutch soldiers with firearms near the village. They were just looking for people in Shingon. What do they want here? Could they want revenge for that battle six years ago? No, or they'd have come long ago. Think, what else could they want? Well... Let's send some fast youngsters to take gifts and find out. Then we'll decide what to do. Should we take weapons? Eh, just take a knife to protect yourselves. I'm the guide, Aguo. We mean no harm. We're here after Chinese pirates. You need not be alarmed. We bring these gifts for you. Please tell your leader. We don't want war. Our leader thanks you. He doesn't want war either. But we've gotten lost. Could you show us the way? Give them the food. I'll go back to the village and report to the elders. You lead them in circles to tire them out. Then come back to meet me here at sunset. Okay, I'll take them into the Black Forest. That'll tire them out. If there's any danger, run. Take care. Please enjoy this food, water, and wine. <sighs> the Dutch soldiers have come to capture Chinese pirates. They mean us no harm. Where are they now? Dalai took them for a long walk in the Black Forest. He'll be back outside the village before sunset. Good. That gives us more time. Does anybody have any ideas? Uh, since the Dutch mean no harm, we can give them gifts to relieve their anger about what happened six years ago. Have you forgotten Shingon? If you're friends with the Dutch, you have to believe their god, and they'll arrest your sorceresses. I don't think we can trust them either. Have you forgotten what our sorceress said? If we believe them, we'll have disaster and the crops will be poor. <laughs> then how should we deal with the Dutch and their firearms? The Dutch had their firearms, but we had our brains. We first treated them to a feast of food and drink and then sent them back home so that our braves could find a chance to annihilate them on the way. Mm -hmm. We've prepared a sumptuous dinner. Please come to our village. They're inviting us to their village for dinner. I have to report back to Fort Zelandia. You take the soldiers and enjoy the dinner. You've been running around all day. And you need a good rest. 
Our commander has to go back. Please take us to your village. Help us get on our way. Go to your home to propose to you. Takaran likes signing very much. Please accept these gifts and agree to their marriage. It will be an honor for us to become related to a brave like Dakara. When you come from now on, be quieter. But I want you to come often. The Mado River Incident of 1629 was a brave challenge to Dutch colonial rule by the people of Mado Village. Six years later, the Dutch officer Hans Putmans led his soldiers in an attack on Mado, giving the Dutch complete control of the island. The Shilaya people have not disappeared over the past three centuries, but like wind-blown seeds of the cotton tree have been dispersed to places where the gods look over the earth waiting to sprout and grow into a new Shilaya nation. In order to delve into Shilaya's vast culture, the Tourism Bureau officially established the Shilaya National Scenic Area Administration in November 26, 2005. It is the first scenic park to be named after a culture. Here, the scholarly and the wise can experience all the wonders of the glistening ponds, stunning mountains, and seven reservoirs. A great atmosphere brings out the best in people. More incredible are the historically marked pathways set by early trailblazers, immersing visitors in the rich culture and stories of the Shilaya. Occupying 90,000 hectares of land, the Shilaya National Scenic Area is like a precious mountain sought by poets, with reservoirs, hot springs, farm produce, historical landmarks, folk activities, and other resources. Between each and every footstep, our visitors will discover an underlying and enthralling culture in the midst of inspiring landscapes. 